what I have here is a box of Return of the Jedi candy from Tops. Now this was made in 1983, the year the Return of the Jedi film came out. And uh, this was actually a box that would have been sent to stores. And the owner of the store would have opened it up, popped this thing up, and put it in the back, thusly, to make it into a display box. Now, as you can see, there's, uh, well, six characters uh, pictured on the box, and we get six uh, candy heads, or I should say uh, candy containers, shaped like the heads of Star Wars characters. Uh, we have Jabba, Darth Vader, Wicked the Ewok, a Walkling, which is a baby Ewok, um, Admiral Akbar, and Sai Snoodles from the Rebo Band. I think it's kind of interesting to look at the uh, distribution of the characters here, because we had literally like half of them are Ewoks, which sort of tells you who they were trying to appeal to, I think, maybe. Uh, trying, to get, trying to get that candy money from the kids. But also, uh, I think it's interesting, too, that we have, uh, well, Darth Vader and Jabba have the same number. And, uh, of course, these two are a, f a bit uh, fewer, which, you know, makes sense, I think, you know, given the status of, uh, of, the, of the characters, these being more of the background. Uh, if you look in the inside of the box, it looks a little bit like they're just sort of thrown in there haphazardly, but actually there is a tray in here that holds these at exactly the positions that they're in. And I assume they did that because they figured out what the optimal place to put them all in, given their shapes and sizes, so that they could fit the most uh, heads in there. Now, let's see here. I was, of course, very excited when I first learned that uh, they had a, a Jabba head with candy. Now, each one of these has uh, 0.4 ounces of candy, so it certainly is loaded with candy. I'm going to go ahead and open one of these up for you. Um, which one should we do? Oh, I think maybe Jabba. Yes. Now, if you look here... Jabba is extremely blurry. So here's Jabba, and as you can see, he's very green, which, uh, you know, has always puzzled me a little bit. Now, Jabba does have some green on him, but you wouldn't really know it by looking at him on the screen, and, uh, you know, you certainly wouldn't choose this as his sort of iconic look, especially, you know, if you look on the package, uh, the box itself, it has a picture of Jabba, so you'd think they would know what he looked like, but whatever. On the back, we have the ingredients, and apparently this includes, let's see, it's made of dextrose, maltodextrin, fumaric acid, magnesium stearate, artificial colors, artificial flavors. Yeah, it's good stuff. And, you know, uh, Tops and other companies have made similar products to these in the past. Uh, sort of a, a con you know, a container with some hard little chalky candies in them, basically, is what they are. Um, but the ones that I had seen before these were sort of just like little pellets. They weren't in, in the shape of anything, and so I was really uh, <laughs> inordinately pleased to see that uh, these, in fact, are shaped like different Star Wars characters. So let's break one open here, and we'll see what he looks like inside. Ooh. This is... Vaguely disturbing. Shaking Jabba's innards out here. Okay, I think that's all of it. So, it looks as though we have maybe... I don't know... 17 or 18 candies, something like that. And, uh... They're in a variety of characters, as I mentioned. Although, it seems to me that, uh... There are a lot of Vaders. Now, that's one thing about this, uh... This candy that I've noticed in the past is that, uh... You can never tell what characters you're going to be getting because um, the, it's just totally random. You might get, uh, you know, no Jabba's or no Vader's in one and then get 17 in the next one. So, in fact, I literally did get 14 Jabba's in one of these at one point. <laughs> um, but we do have, in this particular one, a number of Vader's. These are all Vader's. Let's, let's give you a closer look at that. There's Vader and all his chalky goodness. Nothing on the other side, really. And, you know, he comes in a variety of uh, 
what I, I assume are different flavors, at least they're different colors. We've got uh, three of them here. Three different Vaders now. We also have some Jabba's. The only color that Jabba comes in here is yellow. There's Jabba. Look at that. He does look a lot like that pile of poop emoji, now that I think about it. <laughs> hmm. Anyway, uh, and then we have C-3PO, who looks a lot like a skull, really. Now you may be thinking, wait a minute, there's no C-3PO in this set, and you're right. Uh, in fact, they substituted C-3PO and R2-D2 for Akbar and Slice Noodles uh, when it came to the candy for some reason. I'm not really sure why. Maybe it was difficult to represent uh, those characters in these small little candies. I don't know. Maybe they decided at one point that they were going to have uh, C-3PO and R2-D2 and then they changed their minds. I don't know. But, yeah. As far as I can tell, and I've opened up a few of these, there are no Akbar or Slice Noodles candies. So, what we have here is... Uh, candy that is uh, 33 years old and you know you'd have to be crazy to want to eat some candy that's 33 years old right right but what the hell you only live once let's hope it uh, hope it doesn't end today though and you know I gotta I gotta choose Java that's you know don't really have a choice there so I'm going to I'm going to see if this uh yellow color actually corresponds to anything in nature. Mm. You know what? I swear these are exactly the same as they were the day they were made. I think it's lemon. I think it's lemon. It tastes like lemon and and loneliness. Not bad, actually. You could totally eat these. I mean, I'm not planning on scarfing down the whole lot of these, but uh, it's fine, you know. I guess that's what uh, having essentially no natural ingredients will get you. So, you know, if you ever need to stock a bomb shelter or something, maybe this would be this would be the way to go. I'll tell you what. Let me. I'm going to try and open up another one of these. Uh, let's go with, uh, let's go with the Walkling. Not a fan of the Walklings. Really. And we've got so many of them, it wouldn't hurt to open another one. Now th I'll have to say this one feels a little bit heavier. Let's see. Whoa. Now is it just me or is this a lot more candy? Look at that. If you ever have a choice, go for the Walkling, I guess. So we've got, uh, yeah, here's Wicket. Strangely blurry Wicket, there he is. You've got, uh, here's the Walkling himself. It's pretty impressive how you can still recognize these um, easily 33 years later. R2-D2. And I think that's it in terms of ones we haven't seen. Wait a minute, what's this? No, <laughs> it's an upside down wicket. I thought for a second I had an Akbar, but no. I just had to show you all three colors of Java here. You know, you, what should I should I try all three flavors? What do you think? Yeah, let's do it. So we've got. Uh, we've already tried the yellow, which was lemon, apparently. Let me try the purple. Hmm. Vaguely, 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 vaguely of of grape. Hmm. And we have orange, which presumably will taste like orange, but who knows? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm getting some hints of uh, baby aspirin there. Yep. So. uh that's basically it for today. I'm still alive, apparently, so uh, I think I've survived this taste test. Feel free to give me a like, give me a subscribe, and uh, I'll see you next time.